Thanks for joining us at ConnellCogs. We're going to take a look at uh, a physical photo of an RTO, and then we're going to look at a touchscreen of that RTO on its uh, PLC touchscreen to help you understand how an RTO operates. Here we'll see the components that make up an RTO. This is the ductwork coming from the customer's process. VOC laden air passes through the ductwork into a valve, into a ceramic media bed, up into the combustion chamber where the VOC destruction happens, past a burner, and then down through another bed into this valve, then into this fan, and then out clean out to atmosphere. This valve will switch periodically, and the airflow will then will change direction and go up through this bed, across the burner, across the combustion chamber, down into this bed. So now you've seen the physical RTO. Uh, we're going to take a look at a schematic diagram uh, from the PLC touchscreen on the RTO. Uh, this is the main body of the RTO. This is the fan and the exhaust stack that you saw in that photo. It draws air from the RTO, which consists of a combustion chamber where the VOC destruction happens, two ceramic media beds, one here and one here, that the air passes through on the way to the combustion chamber or out of the combustion chamber, a valve that changes the flow direction. It does that periodically. We'll look at the timing for that in a little bit. The uh, air coming in from the process. So that's where it all starts. And so those are the components of the RTO. We'll bring dirty air in from the process. So VOC in the airstream will pass through the ductwork into the RTO through this valve, pick up heat in this ceramic media bed. The burner will bring it up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for half a second, typically. And that destroys the VOCs and converts them to CO2 and water vapor. And that hot, clean air then passes through the second bed, giving off heat to the ceramic media. And at the same time, the air is cooled as it gives off heat to the ceramic media. And then that air passes out the exhaust stack clean. Principle of an RTO is that it holds temperature at 1600 degrees Fahrenheit here. Uh, it switches the flow direction into one bed or the other, and by doing so, it absorbs heat and gives off heat, and that's how it achieves 95% thermal efficiency. It's a regenerative heat exchanger process. So I'm going to show you that this is the cycle time that tells us how long before the valve will switch, and we're coming up on 30 seconds. I'm going to accelerate it here to show you the change in flow direction that's going to happen. So it just changed. The valve is going to switch and now the flow is going to go up through this bed, pick up heat in this bed that was heated in the previous cycle. Uh, that air will be brought to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit by the burner to destroy the VOCs. Then that hot clean air will pass into the second bed that was cooled in the previous cycle to then heat it. And as the air passes through, it will give off heat to this bed and it will cool the air so that it leaves the exhaust around 360. It'll range uh, in temperature from 360 to 425 here in, at this thermocouple as it exits out clean through the fan. Now, that's the principle of an RTO. It will change flow direction periodically, and I'm going to cycle it through another cycle. You can watch the timer drop down, and here it comes up to another uh, cycle change. It's going to change the flow direction and now the air is going into this bed again and exiting this bed and going out to the stack clean that's the principle of an rto hope that's helpful for you to understand how they operate if you have any questions give us a call at conno cogs and we'll be able to help you with this video or with any other rto questions you might have